Hello everyone, back to tuning in to today's fourth and final video. We're going to have a look at the weather for its 10 14 days for today's final video. Day 10 will take us to the 1st of August. Good gracious me, final day of me, Joshua Summer. Don't know, do you? And uh, we'll be able to extend out beyond that with the extended GFS and Eastern Ensembles. May run to around a couple of weeks. We'll have a look at CFSB2 at the end of the video for the next four weeks. And that gets us into the second half of August. I should get on with that for you in a moment. Just to say that first video release today was our 6M UK World Forecast. We've also released the Week Ahead Forecast and the EC42 Day Forecast have been released today as well. Please check out all all of today's content like share and subscribe on all of today's videos thank you so very much everybody for uh doing that right we're gonna start off in the tropical atlantic so we've got tropical storm dom just here uh giving maximum stay winds winds even of four uh, but 60 mile per hour with a minimum central pressure of 998 millibars and moving northwest was at 40 mile per hour clicking on down and going there you can see this is going to carry on pushing uh northwards then it's going to curve uh out into the central part of the north atlantic where it will go post tropical uh we've also got an orange x here but disturbance one with a 50% chance of cyclone formation in the next 48 hours. They're saying shower activity associated with a small area of low pressure located roughly midway between the Cape Verde Islands and Melissa Antilles continue to show signs of organisation. Although environmental conditions are only marginally conducive, some additional gradual development is anticipated. And this system will likely become a tropical depression by early next week while it moves westwards across the tropical Atlantic. Interests in the Lesser Antilles should monitor the progress of this system. We've got a 50% chance of cyclone formation in the next two days and a 70% chance of cyclone formation, high chance in the next seven days. That is one to watch. We'll keep you informed. Centering temperature is continuing to tick down. We're now sitting at 16.1, which, which is just 0.1 of a degree. Above 61 to 99 average, that's original to yesterday to 21st of July. That's going to carry on dropping. I would have thought it's very cool across the CT region today. Um, so uh, that will continue declining. These are the GFS upper air temperature and precipitation ensembles. And it kind of weighs on Norwich today. The red line is the 30 year upper air temperature average for Norwich. You see, we're starting off about average, a little bit below at the moment. We go cooler than average again for the early part of next week. Then just close to average for the rest of uh, next week. And on into the beginning of August, hovering close to or a little bit below average. You will notice the thick green line, which is the GFS 6 uh, operation run taking off and uh, becoming quite hot right at the very end a little bit of an outlier but uh, that one does turn things hotter through the first week of August but generally the trend looks average to cool to be honest for the next couple of weeks and plenty of precipitation to go as well so spells of rain to come this weekend into next week a couple of drier days around Tuesday could last to Wednesday but more wet weather later on next week might get a window of drier weather next weekend a little bit uncertainty about that but through the first week of August looking rather showery overall it seems to be a cool and unsettled scene temperature anomalies from the 22nd 30th of July are below average a cooler than average week to come precipitation anomalies from the 22nd of July to 30th they're coming out wetter than average especially so through more central parts of the country. This wet weather today can get stuck tonight and tomorrow across some parts of northern England and the North Midlands and will produce a lot of rain in that area. But generally, it is a wet and average scene across the whole country, really, in the next week. Latest wind from that from Earth, Nordschool.net shows low pressure heading in for off the That's Dom, by the way. That's Tropical Storm Dom. Uh, just there, but this is below pressure. We're interested in sitting just to the west of the UK and Ireland. Income those west to south westerly winds. So, yes, low pressure is well and truly in control for today. Okay, let's go through the chart data then. Make sure you can make your own run looks like this for midnight on Tuesday. Low pressure cooling away to the east, leaving us with a showery northwesterly trough. Then another area of low pressure coming in through the middle part next week. That brings further spells of rain with it into the end next week. Just a bit of a hint of the Azores high starts trying to reach up from the southwest. Uh, in some parts, you might turn things a little bit drier at the end of the week. However, we have got another deep area of low pressure, though, in the Atlantic. I suspect this low will just roll in over the top of that rich attempt and uh, keep the unsettled weather going into next weekend, probably. Icon, again, showering trough with northwesterly winds on Tuesday. 
And then Wednesday, Thursday, the low pressure coming in off the Atlantic about to bring outbreaks of rain with it into showery and quite cool conditions. The second half next week, more low pressure piles in from off the Atlantic into next weekend as well. That looks like going to bring plenty of unsettled weather with it. As far as we get to uh, with Icon, it's midday next Saturday, 29th of July. One area of low pressure sitting off the east coast of Scotland. Another low waiting in the wings. It does all look rather unsettled there up to next week. Again, the GFS midnight run again with that showery trough on Tuesday, bringing spells of showers and long fell rain with it. Then next low coming in Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, a little bit later, bring that low in perhaps with GFS compared to UK at Nikon, for example. But nevertheless, same trend. Low pressure comes in through the middle of the second half next week, brings further wet weather with it. Into next weekend, low pressure in control with showers and or long spells of rain. Plus a window dry weather at the end of next weekend into the beginning of the following week. It's Monday, 31st of July. Just starting to ridge some higher pressure uh, across the country, but it's only ahead of the next low, you see. It's a transient, and then this next low comes meandering in for day 10, which is the first day of August. So we start August on a very unsettled note with a low pressure over top of the country. Um, that one gets out of the way. We go into like a showery northwesterly showers in the north and west in particular and uh, we end up on the 7th of August as far as we get to with the GFS midnight run still looking rather cool and showery then. The GFS 6 then again we're close to this trough of low pressure on Tuesday with showery bursts likely then the next low coming in off Atlantic through the middle of next week bringing outbreaks of rain with it. Second half of next week could turn a little bit drier down in the south but still unsettled up in the north. This area of low pressure comes pushing through during next weekend and into the beginning of the following week, bringing further wet weather. That looks particularly unsettled for day 10, which is the first day of August. We begin August 2023 on a very different note to uh, August last year, and uh, looking cool and wet with that, and uh, winds are in the northwest direction. Beyond that, again, rather showering for a while through the first week of August, but then higher pressure starts to build to our south. Got some very hot air sitting just to our south there. What actually happened on the GFS 6 there, by the very end of it, 7th of August, is that a ridge starts moving towards Germany and allows some much hotter air to push up from the south. So look at this, we eventually get plus 20 Celsius ice firm to the far southeast corner, plus 25 Celsius ice firm is sitting over France. Some very hot air is still potentially there to tap into. So although we are going through like a prolonged cool and wet spell at the moment, it's not out of the realms of impossibility, but we might get, you know, some very hot air coming our way into August. We've got to wait and see about this, but it wouldn't take that much to tap into that heat from the south. But as it is, anyway, up for, for the rest of July and into the beginning of August, looking cool and set. So if you enjoyed the video, please can you like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much, everybody, for doing that. Drop a comment, let us know what you think about this and all of our videos. And don't get too friends about Gals Weathers. So thank you so very much, everybody, for doing that. We just need to put on 50 subscribers now, 5 0, to get ourselves to uh, 16.5k. So if you could give us a sub, tell your friends and family to subscribe, we would be delighted if you could do that for us. Thank you so much, everyone. Okay, GM, again, with this cool and showery trough as we go through into uh, Tuesday. And um, then the next area of low press coming in off the Atlantic through the Middle part next week, that bringing outbreaks of rain uh, with it. Showers and or longer spells of rain then into the end of week. And also next weekend looks cool and unsettled. By day 10, just a hint of a little bit of a ridge building up from the southwest on the 1st of August. But we have got more low pressure in the Atlantic. And then the ECM looks like this. The ECM we have again, bringing that low pressure through into the middle of next week. That bringing outbreaks of rain with it. Quite a cool, wet middle part of next week. Stays unsettled into next weekend as well, especially so for central and northern regions, I would have thought heading up toward day 10. Again, there's a little bit of an attempt there to build up a ridge of the southwest at uh, day 9, but this area of low pressure to west of Ireland just rolls in over time. See how this works, but as far as low pressures are there, jet stream, they'll come rolling in over any attempt at up the ridge and so by day 10 we've got a low right over top of the country there for the opening day of August 2023 cool and wet this precipitation forecast are based on the ECM run from uh, to let's just go back go back go back go back, go back.
Come back, come back, come back. Look at it. Oh, so he's saying he's wet weather. Forget that happened. He's saying he's wet weather pardoning you from off the <laughs> Atlantic, uh, bringing uh, lots of uh, rain with it. Now, over at Titan to swear about rain gets stuck through the central sway. So you're going to be very, very wet for parts of Northern Ireland, Northern England, into the North Midlands and North Wales. And Mars have this a little bit further south, like UKV. They have this band of rain gets stuck a little bit further south. But anyway, through the central sway, very wet. Showers on either side. And then that wet weather comes south and east was through. Next week leaves us with perhaps some slight dry weather around Tuesday into Wednesday, but then the next wet weather piling in off the Atlantic through the uh, middle part of next week. More heavy rain to come then. And uh, into next weekend, further wet weather on the way. We'll about another dose of it uh, towards the end of next weekend and up to the first day of August. These are the options on the table within the ECM Ensemble today. Four day temporary. I said it. Met obviously gets us to the first of August 12. That was the ECM Ensemble's place a deep low pressure over top of the country. That's going to be very unsettled. Another 12 with low pressure just about west and northwest. Again, that looks very unsettled indeed. 11 low pressure just to the east, a little bit of a reach to the west. Rather cool and showery. Nine with low pressure to the north of Scotland. High pressure in across France. Winds are coming in from the west. And then seven with a ridge building to our north and west. That's obviously the driest option, bringing more in the way of dry conditions. In two weeks' time, these are the options that we've got. Lots of them. Gets us to the 6th of August. 15 members of the East Gem. So I must keep that low pressure over top of the country. Nine with high pressure just to our southwest. That's going to be turning a little bit drier. Another nine with low pressure over top of the country. And they've got seven with high pressure building to our east. That could be some hotter air up from the south. Six with low pressure to the north, high pressure to the south. That tries to settle things down, especially in southern regions. And five with deep low pressure over top of the country. So a range of options then. It is possible we might be seeing a trend here towards higher pressure getting back involved through the first week of August. But again, um, you know, it's, I think it's virtually a 50 split between the lower pressure and the higher pressure options. So we just got to wait and see how this works itself out. CFSB2, finally, these are 500 millibar height and orange broken down into week periods. The first week period takes from 22nd, 28th of July. The coming week is uh, dominated by low pressure over and to the east of the country. So it's cool and unsettled. Week two is going to be the 29th of July to 4th of August, with low pressure again over and to the east of the country. So once more, that looks cool and wet. Week 3 <laughs> will be the 5th to the 11th of August again. Low pressure right over top of the country. Um, And then week 4, bit of a change. This is the 12th to the 18th of August. High pressure building more towards our east. Probably still some lower pressure in the Atlantic, but we could start to squeeze up some much warmer, even hot air from the south with that. So maybe a mid-August heat wave will probably quite quickly break down into thunder as the high pressure is actually a long way away from us. So I don't see that settling down, you know, greatly. But uh, could turn hot and possibly fungy there through the middle part of August. Before then, it's cool and wet and showery. Okay, we're done. If you enjoyed the video, please do like, share, subscribe. Thank you so much for do that. Drop a comment. Let us say what you think about this and all of our videos. And don't forget to tell your friends about Gaz Webbers. Thank you so very much, everybody, for doing that for us. 50 subscribers will get us to 50. No, what am I talking about? 15, 15 subscribers <laughs> will get us to um, 16.5k. 60,500 subscribers. Please give us some. Thank you so much for doing that. Right, just don't comment tomorrow. 16 UK weather forecast. We're up to update number six on the autumn update. Going to be a solo special this week. And if all of that wasn't up, going to be live streaming at 6 pm tomorrow. And uh, that will combine a 10 to 14 day out with loads and loads of long range so i shall see you live at six tomorrow evening but for this video and for today's videos that's all for now and thank you so much for watching bye for now